The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best, juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat in four sides. Mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing! Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip, you won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family bbq.com for more info good morning everybody hello there welcome friday it's a half-ass holiday workday friday which is the best kind it's 5 45 this is the morning sickness <laughs> i'm getting bruce buffer on that and i'm enjoying it uh my name's john holmberg there's brady bogan uh brad fesley's here big dick toledo's here for now he's going on one of those whirlwind vacations. you know he's doing a three-day turnaround no. Yeah, road Where, tripping for. Th- I just found that out yesterday. Where's he going this time? Uh, down in Old Mexico, I think. Oh, okay, all right. Well, he's got a great Mexican U-turn. Yeah, the great big Mexican. We U-turn. hope. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the cartels will get him. <laughs> well, they, they're, they're going to cut his head off. That's three days' work. They're going to steal giant his- melon. <laughs> it's like trying to take down the Easter Island. Cabeza Grande. <laughs> they're going to steal his mini Winnie while he's down there. <laughs> oh man, that would be awesome. They're not. You're <laughs> so say- safe in Mexico. I would actually not travel to Mexico because of you. Uh, with you, uh, not because it's Mexico and it's a cesspool, oh, and uh, millions and millions of people can't wait to get out of it. And I don't know why Americans travel to it. it, it, it Mexicans hate it there. Uh, that's why they're all you know dying to be American. Travel down there like it's a thing. You're going down uh, today. It's the same setup as last time, yep. like the house, or you take the mini uh, different house. It's it's right on the beach, but nice. you're sharing. Uh, yeah. You, it was a big couple's family thing? Uh, four couples total, us and three others. Oh, God. You are living my nightmare. <laughs> Road trips to live with three other couples. Oh. Two of the couples are Down gay. Down it. Are gay? Yeah. Awesome. Our former lesbian neighbors. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Well, that's kind of hot. I mean, I don't know if it's hot. I didn't see them. They could be. And then gay Anderson Cooper and his wife. Oh, Corey? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's good. He's not gay. No. He just looks like gay Anderson right. Cooper. Like if Anderson Cooper was gay, Corey would be Anderson <laughs> But yeah, it's a what right. a crew, what a nightmare. No kids, no kids. Okay, that's better. Oh, what that's are you doing right. with your kids? Are they going to mom's? Yep. All right. Yep. <laughs> so they're gonna come back with tattoos. Can't, can't be be left. They're gonna get yeah, some prison he can't tats be left over by himself right now. <laughs> What's with the uh, tat blunt on your arm? <laughs> mom's oh, that talk has right already there. started too. Tattoos? Yeah. Oh my God, Richard. Dad, I want Stay a, in Mexico. I want a back tattoo from a first tattoo. <laughs> awesome. Get that. Yeah. I would love to see it. Have it scream <laughs> out with an arrow letters. down your ass. <laughs> <laughs> high five. High five. <laughs> no kid high five. <laughs> well, have fun down there. That sounds awful. But I would. I would like I won't go to Mexico because it's Mexico. And I uh, admit what Mexico is, which is a place that no one wants to live. It's an uh, awful, horrible place. Oh, the beaches are amazing. No, no, it's terrible. It's a terrible place. It's filled with awful. Drug cartels run the entire thing. It's the Middle East right south of us. And I don't care. It's not Mexican people, especially the ones who are here, who are smart enough to leave. Uh, that's what I would do. But it is the worst uh, uh, part of North America by far, by a lot, by a landslide. Uh, but, yeah, traveling down there is great. But I would not go there because of Mexico. But if I was uh, with you, it would be because of you because I'm certain it's going to get his head cut off between the two of us. They're not working on that <laughs> project. They put up scaffolding and – Get three so my bit it's broke down my saw is no good I'm halfway through I gotta get another part saw off the ball guy's head that'll take two minutes <laughs> pencil neck <laughs> by the way how are we hauling this out of here this thing's huge well good luck down there big plans you got excursions no no massages on the beach I think oh yeah. god <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> stuff like that it's literally everything to keep me away keys on the hat <laughs> oh is yeah it, yeah yeah it's a big key party <laughs> I'm sure it's a key party. <laughs> Are you driving? Yeah. Everybody driving? Their own uh, vehicles? or Yeah, they're a, leaving before us. Caravan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, how do you get roped into that? My friend Mark tried to get us to go on a boat trip once. I told you guys this. A boat trip with three other couples. It's like, you guys got to come. And, I'm, and we had to sit down with them at a bar and tell them why we didn't want to go. It's like it was 
It was us and three others. And I know my friends since fifth grade, they'd have been fine. But it's all in the same boat. And you're out there for 10 days. And they get a private chef and all this. Stuff. It's going to be amazing. I'm like, who are the other ones? Our neighbors, who ended up being the ones who got me kicked out of the Swizzle Inn. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, and then some other couple. That would have been know. a good time then. Some other couple was also Mark's Gilbert neighbors. And I'm like, first off, we don't know the other people. And what I know is I don't like living with extra people in the first place. We'll be trapped on that boat for two. Oh, they're fun. They're going to be great. It's everything. I'm like, no. Uh, and then Megan, to her credit, was like, in the first two days, there's going to be a girl fight. I guarantee it. It's like, why? There's just going to, just people that don't know each other. Somebody's going to do something and something's coming up. Four like uh, hours into seeing each other getting on the boat and everything else, one girl has a couple of pops of wine and looks at the other one and goes, you've never liked me at all. It's huh, like, what? Geez. You don't like me, and I know you don't like me. They were fighting She'd been four hours, and she'd the been wet. So the girl gave her a side eye, and the next thing you know, and it was uh, Swizz in. The Greek guinea? The Greek guinea. And then it really was Bruce Buffer? Yeah, and then it was on. Oh, and then Mark, Mark Hyde said, how was your trip? And he goes, I don't know. Everything worked out. <laughs> That's how you, everything they worked, worked out. It out. Everything worked out. Well, they had to. They're trapped on a boat. Otherwise, they're going to kill each other. <laughs> they put him down in the galley. And he goes, let's just say the ladies were fighting within the first few hours. And I'm like, no kidding. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm like, so the prediction was was right. Yeah, evidently you don't travel with uh, four people who don't know each other very well. <laughs> like, no, you never do because one of them's going to be like, what's that? And then you're going to get one that looks better than the other on the boat bikinis. Oh, oh, I, it's a nightmare. My friend, did, he's like, you got to do this. Same never. thing in the Greek Isles. Oh. And he, they went, any trouble? He goes, well, right off the bat, yes. um, one Fight. of the crew members was hot. And all the guys are like, man, yep. she'd come up and. You know, oh, yeah. serving them in the bikini and the girl. They don't want her on there. And there's always a girl they don't want on there. Yeah, there's a, like old people will always tell you. They worked it out, though, John. Of course, they had to. They were on a boat. <laughs> you have to. You have to. They didn't work anything out. They just worked yeah. out the idea that we got to get through this and we'll never travel with them again. Old people always tell you that. Like, you have to be very careful with who you travel with. Incredibly careful. You'll lose friends over traveling. Like, I don't, you know, you go to dinner with some people and by like the second hour, you're like, ugh. Yeah. Ooh, I'm, look I'm, at the time. Out of, I'm out of stuff. I'm out of stuff. And then you got to, I'm, I would stay in my room all day and they'd be like, why don't you come out? And then they're offended that they're like, think you're not coming out because of them. Like, I'm just a relaxed guy. I'm not a person who loves to couple up and join out and do those things. And you when, can't, you can't be yourself when you're on somebody else's clock and they're knocking on the door and like, oh, for, or you hear them out there barking and screaming that breakfast is ready. It's like, oh, we're done. What don't was travel, interesting people. those, uh, the, motorcycle trips that i did a couple of times yeah. all guys i mean one time it was up to 12 guys and then it would scale back to about right. six to eight but at the end of the trip a couple of the wise would fly over and ruin it and <laughs> always ruin city. it yeah, every time because you can't do it yeah it can't be done and girls can travel together as girls guys can travel together as guys uh but uh you put all them you mix it all up Toledo, I don't think you'll have a fight. I don't think. Uh, I've not, done maybe, it with them before. Well, not, not, the, not all four in the same no, house. Not these ones. You've not yet. I thought no, you did. There might be a fight. The lesbians help. The Anderson lesbians Cooper. definitely are. Lesbians squash all yeah. fights, man. You've got a traveling companion in Gay Anderson Cooper and, uh, yep. and Becky. The other two, I, I have question marks all over. There might be an argument. No, no, no. They're, they're solid. You don't know that. Great. Oh, I do. You've never that. lived with them. Uh, that changes everything. No. It's a big house. It changes everything. Right next to him, though. I know, but you just never had to wake up and have them standing in your kitchen. True. Yeah. I've woken up in Gay Anderson Cooper's kitchen. Predict you are going to knock a lesbian the f- out on the second day. I don't know. <laughs> just one of rear them, back and swing. One of them's a former Air Force <laughs> officer. All right, you might get so, knocked yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, She's trolling. knocking me the F out. You better bring Jay Gutentag with you <laughs> yeah, for security this, reasons. Yeah. yeah, this is going to be good. Dick. Who's the other couple? <laughs> Uh, Jen and Erica, they were also in our old neighborhood. In, in lesbians Gilbert. also? Yep. Nice. Filled with lesbians. Got a whole house of lesbians. Yeah. And you and Corey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, how does he do this? Like the world's <laughs> least interesting man has these things happen to him. It's fantastic. Well, good luck down there. I hope it all works out. Oof, no thanks. Like we're going to lose Lisa. 
Oh, yeah. Two? Oh, my God. I didn't even think of that. I don't, I don't know why, why you're, you're doing this. I don't know why you're doing this. He starts parading his, his <laughs> chicks around lesbians, and you know what happens? It's like putting her in, in jail like yeah, you did the last one. True. Haven't you true. learned? Yeah, you sent the last one to the who's and she put, came back. Putting her on a spit. Yeah, she came back a, a fisherman. Now you got another opportunity here. Uh, well, yeah, you just stick her out there for auction. Way to go. <laughs> hey, Lisa. <clears throat> You that big-headed man serious, or <laughs> you thinking maybe you'd like to... No, officer. Take a trip down here to Tuna Town <laughs> for a couple minutes. Just give it a lick. You know how many licks it takes to get to the center of my heart? Three. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum. Anyway, well, that sounds awful, Rich. Good luck. When do you leave? Uh, as soon as I can get my stuff done here All right. today. We'll, we'll, we'll expedite back because I can't wait for you. got to get to the border before dark. <laughs> oh, man. Run to the border. I just don't understand why anybody travels Through there. Ajo and... Oh, beautiful views of southern small Arizona. Small towns. Dumps on the way down to the... Where, and it's going to be crowded. You're coming back with Is the it COVID. Winkleman? Winkleman down there? I don't know. Who knows? What a dump. Good luck. Have fun in your dump. You know what? You know what? If you said, "Hey, I got a weekend free at Motel Six in uh, Gila Bend," I'd, okay, over Mexico. No, you. Oh, absolutely. It's in the U.S. of A. I got rules and laws that I understand here. That space hotel. I'm staying the space hotel in Gila Bend long before I'd ever travel to Mexico. <laughs> no thanks. Yuck. We got beaches. I've done my time there. Yeah. Well, it's what Where, it feels in like Bend? in Mexico. It feels like doing time. My friend's truck got stolen while we were there. It was our only way in and out. <laughs> oh, man. It was awful. It was the only time I've ever been. We woke up and the dude's his big old truck was gone. I'm like, well, how are we getting home? I don't know. And then the one dude I know, his dad, they found out his dad was an ambassador and they arrested him. Kept him in jail for seven days until his dad flew out and paid him to get him out. Yikes. He didn't do anything. He, he housed an underage, a uh, couple underage kids who had drinks. Which isn't a law in Mexico, by the way. There's like five-year-olds drinking. That place is awful. Just awful. <laughs> anyway, Toledo's going to be down there. If you guys are in uh, uh, Puerto Penasco <laughs> this weekend, listen for the lesbian screaming. That's Toledo's house. <laughs> Check your email from oh, Jay. No. Oh, Guten Tag's <laughs> ready to go. Oh, ready to go. She wants to do it? Well, <laughs> she's, she's, she's trying to tell Toledo about what his trip's going to be like. says, uh, all lesbians do uh, is F on vacation. <laughs> You're just gonna hear <laughs> Sazer, Sazer, <laughs> and then that. That's right. They've got a they've got a whole other section in the house. Yeah, and you're gonna hear it. Nope, it'll be a house of cat bass. <laughs> That's the whole weekend. I love the letter. Dick will be good. He's a lesbian magnet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear that. Oh, we vacuum sealed it. <laughs> Get the shoehorn. <laughs> yeah, I got, just roll tape, man. Anyway, well, I was going to start the show with uh, finding out what Grimace actually is, but I like this better. <laughs> Do you know what Grimace is? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Did you just read it? Yeah. You saw it too today. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Do you know what he is? Hmm. I have no clue what Grimace is. Grimace is the big purple thing. Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the, you what know, he's supposed to be. Promoting shakes. No idea what he is, right? Oh, no, I don't know what he is. He started off as a villain. I knew that. Oh, yeah. I, didn't know I still that. didn't know what he was. The he name, was a bad guy. The name Grimace. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, he is a gigantic taste bud. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. Look at pictures Always of taste buds. Yeah. Just Always been a taste that. bud. There's some dude just revealed what he is uh, in the news, and he's like, uh, uh, he's a California McDonald's manager, and he's a, he said it's a, he's a taste bud. <laughs> Why have they been keeping that It secret? is the grossest thing when you see taste Yuck. buds. Like when they show taste buds on the... I guess it's a microscope. It looks just like Grimace. He's just a giant taste bud. The Canadian manager of yeah. McDonald's coughed it up. Yeah, he said that he like he was the inventor, wasn't he? He's sort of- well, he got Outstanding Manager of the Year, and he did an interview where he claimed Grimace is actually supposed to be a giant taste bud. It's gross. So he's a big taste bud. And if you look at taste buds, I don't know if you ever looked at the picture, because I did, and I'm like, what does a taste bud look like? It looks just like Grimace. They're great big purple blobs. Look at that. Oh, man. Ugh, that's the up-close shot. So it's a microscopic taste bud that is now six feet tall and loves milkshakes. Ugh. Let's make them cuddly. Yeah, let's make the taste bud <laughs> glory. Isn't that gross? Yeah, so I was just going to – I didn't know if Brady had read the story or not, but I assume Brady probably knew that. Oh, yeah. Come on. Odds are. Grimace is a taste bud. He's no hamburglar. No, which I still never understood. Just encourage theft. 
Like, <laughs> they're so good you should steal them is what I got out of Hamburglar. And I thought he was the most interesting one. But that old McDonald's crew was very strange. And then uh, Mayor McCheese was just the creepiest where nightmares are spawned when he'd come onto the set. Oh, God. Yeah. But Grimace is a taste bud. Now you know. That is a fever dream of some acid-rich nightmare that a programmer uh, – Marketing group came up with, and yeah, how disgusting. glorious was that field of fries though in those commercials? They have that field of fries. I don't remember that. I remember, one. I, I remember it. It didn't turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like they're hard to come by. Oh, uh, people are. Always, it was an acid trip. I mean, look at yeah, these it's characters. a full acid trip. So the yeah, the, the originals, yeah. yeah, and the captain on the left, he went away, right? Yeah, yeah, sexual yeah. harassment. Yeah. <laughs> he grabbed that because uh, I, rem- girl I bird. barely remember him. And the bird is new. No, the bird is a. She was a pilot. She was like an Amelia She's Earhart an early type. bird or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was for breakfast. Yeah, when stuff. breakfast came in. Yeah, so she was the early bird. And she would show up and. Oh yeah, and then the the Big Mac cop. Big Did Mac cop was, right. was always okay. there. I knew there was a Big Mac. Uh... Oh, the police officer. That's right. Yeah, it is. It's a. It's a complete. What are the little pom poms? What are they uh, supposed to be? Uh, Taste God, buds. I used to remember the name of those. Oh, I forgot the little things. That's who the uh, the sea captain molested. <laughs> he would drive it into those pretty regular. And then Hamburglar's out because he's too negative now. Right. But Grimace is okay? Well, Grimace is just a big taste bud. I mean, yeah. there's nothing about that. You you know, what's offensive about that? Taste. <laughs> not, yeah, but they're trying not to make taste offensive at a restaurant. <laughs> you don't want any of this. The taste buds are, look at it, look, it swells them way up. What was the cop's name? Uh, let's see if it says here. It, uh, <laughs> McDonald's has a fandom page. Oh yeah. What's his name? I don't know. Let's He's see. the top one. Who's the t- you passed? Yeah, right here, right? Oh. And, and no, no. Yeah, there he is, right there. It doesn't give the name though. Let's see. How does it not give his name? I don't know the cop's name. That's a good quiz. How many can you name? There's the Grimace, Hamburglar, Grimace, Mayor, Mayor McCheese, McCheese. <laughs> Birdie, Birdie the, the early bird. bird. Okay, yeah. yeah. But she was the Amelia Earhart. Didn't she used to crash all the time? Yeah. Even as a kid, I thought to myself, they're making fun of Amelia Earhart. They made a girl the pilot, and she can't make it. Like, she can't land the, She can't land herself, and she's a bird for crying out loud. Captain Crook. That's right. Pushing the fish fillet. I don't remember the professor. I don't Officer, either. It's just Officer Big Mac. Yeah, Officer Big Mac. All right. I didn't know that. Either way. Well, there you go. Oh, it's Fry Kids. That's fry right. Kids. Those are French fries? Apparently. Yeah. Blue French fries yeah, are really ones, appetizing. Yeah, no, again, acid. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. The McNugget Buddies. Oh, I forgot about those. <laughs> I don't remember the McNugget. <laughs> I don't remember those. <laughs> the pack yeah. of six little nuggets. Yep. <laughs> That's fun. And Sunday's a little dog. I didn't know him. Wow, look at that. McDonald's. Well, we learned a lot this morning. Wow. characters. When did they jump the shark? Probably right around early bird. <laughs> I would say. That was about it. That's hilarious. Oh, this guy says, like you, John, I've sworn off Rocky Point. Regardless of my friend's positive sell on it. <laughs> uh, however, going to Cabo in two weeks for our first Mexico trip with friends, I look different. Uh, I look at it a bit different uh, than driving to Rocky Point. That's for high school kids. <laughs> I I'm just afraid of it. I got to give you credit because I am scared of Mexico. <laughs> it's any any given moment something horrible can happen, and you don't have any rules that back you up. You don't look at it. I know, but that's every time you go, your risk is your odds are a little greater that this is the time. Oh, I'm not lying. Every time we we go on that that highway that looks like uh, Breaking Bad, oh, there's it is all Breaking Bad. There's nothing on it until you hit uh, Rocky Point. Portuga, you're going to see a head floating on the top of that turtle, and it's going to be yours. Once you get out of the border town, that that road is just. The only person that I've ever given credit to thinking Mexico is great is my friend Janny from Africa because he went down there and fell in love with it. Comparatively, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's Shangri La for him, yeah. but he's the only one I'd be like, "All right, I could see where you like Mexico." He actually went down there and bought a house, not on the beach. In the hundred dollars makes that? everything go away, and he's building a school down there. It, 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 like they want him to be like the mayor of the tiny little town he lives in outside of Rocky Point because he just came in and charmed everybody's pants <laughs> off. Of course he did, and literally charmed their pants off because he went to a strip club and one of the girls there he fell in love with. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, she's down there. Really? Mexico. Mexico. Mexico uh, how big's the family? For the girl? Yeah. The stripper? Yeah. Oh, for, I, I would assume. When you say Mexican stripper, I think immediately 11 or less or more kids. I mean, there's no way she's got she's got a house and kids. you got a Mexican stripper down there. But, the yeah. Mormon's a shame. He's shown me a picture. Yeah. 
I went to Mexico and I this was amazing. He's showing me the house. I'm like, time out. Nice house, first off. That's pretty good. What was that? 6,300 square feet? About. <laughs> it's a big house, Janie. What'd you get it for? 82,000 American plus. I had, to, I had to give some other people money. I'm like, of course. I don't own the land. That's a bad deal. What you got there is what's called a bad deal. And then he said, uh, and he's showing me pictures. He goes, this is the bathroom. This is it. I'm like, time out. Go back to the bathroom shot. What is that? Oh, that's the girl I met. The naked one in the tub that you took the picture to show me the room? <laughs> yeah. And the next one is, here we are in the bedroom. She's naked. Here's, here's she's naked. She on came the, with the, the house. kitchen. She's on the table. Oh, she came with the house a few times. <laughs> Pretty solid. But have fun in Mexico. You guys going anywhere? You're not going anywhere. No. You going No. No? Sticking around. Yeah, me too. It's amateur weekend. This is when all the families go out. I'm surprised you're not bringing your kids. This is the one where everybody drags your kids out one last no time. No way. Well, they're saying it's not as many people, so it might That's be true. a little might be all right. Christopher's I, jazz because he gets to stay home by himself. Oh, he's all alone? So the, tr- the troublemaker goes to mom. Yeah. He has a lesbian weekend, too. Yep. <laughs> Just like dad. He's yep. going to hang out with a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> and then the boy gets the house to himself. Yeah. Oh, he's going to call you every five minutes. Scared to death. 100%. Because you know why? You know him I'm going to well. be lurking around. Ever since you saw him at that NHRA drags, that is who he <laughs> oh, is. he got scared he, of those he, cars. he acts so brave, and then all of a sudden it'll be like, hey, um, <clears throat> I noticed something outside. Funny how you never notice yeah. anything outside when we're there. Let's <laughs> go over there and peer in the windows. There's a noise. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's, let's do it. I'm in. <laughs> let's make a night. Does he have a gun? No. All right. Let's, oh, don't say that. You're supposed to say yes. Now everybody's coming. Yeah, all the listeners are invited armed. to. We'll all show you. Yeah, he's fully armed. <laughs> Good. Test him. Okay. It's this an all skate. Oh, good God. This is going to be amazing. I'm going to burn a Joe Biden in effigy on your front yard. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually like that. That's funny. <laughs> this would be hilarious. Anyway, well, have fun down there. Toledo, we're all proud of you. Yeah. Somebody said uh, Toledo would have to go to the Galapagos to have his head placed on the back of a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. Uh, it's 606. Let's get a wake up song, shall we? A good one. We'll start off this half ass holiday uh, work day. You're not going to have to work past noon today. Everybody's going to be in shorts and jeans. Even your boss is going to come in like he doesn't care. It's one of those three day weekends into four. In fact, we're having a fake like day of work. And the only incentive is that uh, Tripp's bringing in a bunch of food at noon yeah. and a margarita machine. The day ends at 11 o'clock. I don't even know why people, like, you should opt to take it off. It's a free day. You just, the problem is, it's like a vacation day, only you have to spend it with your coworkers. Kirby's a half day as well. Yeah, the schools don't even try. No, Tr- every, everybody's getting out of Tripp's bringing his margarita machine? Oh, in? yeah. The Margie mm-hmm. machine's on the way. Those in. are brutal, too. They're they're but they're good. I mean, they're they're heavy. Yeah. yeah. So we'll we'll pop that. The out. liquor's in his office right now. Oh yeah, it is. Nice. Yeah. There's going to be some sexual harassment going on here about three thirty. I'll be gone. And give us a wake up song. Five eight five ninety eight hundred. A good one. We'll scream it together. It's ninety eight K U P D. Whoa whoa whoa! What the hell? Ninety eight. I'm not cool with this at all. K U P D. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat, ericsfamilybbq.com.